What's up everyone, welcome back to another video, Izzy here and today I thought I'd do a video on revision tips seeing as I know a lot of you are either doing exams in year 11 and revising for your GCSEs or if you're in America uh, doing finals I believe it is. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you do don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel because we're getting super close to 46,000 subscribers which is awesome because when I get to 50k which is my goal for this year I want to do a giveaway for you all so go and subscribe right now and also any of my social medias will either be on the screen or down below if you'd like to go and check them out and let's get on with the video. Let's go. So my first tip is to use flashcards. They are awesome. Literally, I've been benefiting from these so much. I've been using them to revise and study for pretty much all of my lessons, literally. And I bought these from W.H. Smiths. I find they're the best because they come in like simple colours and have enough space for you to write and I just find they're really easy to learn from like when I whip these out I'm like yeah get them flashcards out but these are great for things like history if you're doing ancient history like I am for my GCSE I came up with this thing where you could use a different colour for each Roman king in the rise of Rome topic and then when you come to answer a question on it and the actual test you will think of the colour and relate it to that king you could do that for any subject, like biology, you could do in green. Kind of helps stimulate your brain when you use colours to specify it with different topics. Or you could use an app which allows you to use flashcards because I know a lot of my friends have been doing that recently. And you tap it and you can write something in or you can have pre-generated ones where you put in what GCSE you're trying to study for and it'll put up questions and then you have to try and think of the answer, flip it over, see if you've got it right, if not revise on that topic and I just think it's a great way to learn. Obviously. So I definitely recommend that you get some revision books because they are great, literally they are a lifesaver. They have everything in here that you need to know for your exams and you can just use to write down notes from. You can get the revision books, I believe or the workbooks which basically just have like pages and pages of questions on different topics and you get some of these you can get them from literally any topics ask your teachers what exam you're supposed to be taking like AQA at Excel or any exam board and then try and find a revision guide that will suit that and you're learning the right things from so yeah I know some schools do like provide these and you can just buy them from them I know others won't and you can get them from Dorit Smith, Waterstones, Amazon, eBay. So the next thing I recommend you do is giving yourself 30 minute slots. Your brain works better when you work in 30 minute slots and then you don't get overworked and you have yourself a little set time to do certain topics. So for example, you could choose to do biology for 30 minutes and revise for 30 minutes on that and then take a break. This then leads me on to my next tip, which is to always take breaks. Don't overwork yourself, you're not going to benefit from that whatsoever. You still feel overworked, stressed, tired, it's just not very good for you. So work in 30 minute slots and take breaks. You could have something to eat, always remember to stay hydrated. It is key to stay hydrated, it fuels your brain and helps you to keep working and stay concentrated whilst you're working. And you could watch some TV, but obviously don't do this for too long because otherwise you're not gonna benefit from that whatsoever. So. so my next tip is to use past papers. They are literally a godsend. If you go on to like AQA or Ed Excel or even ask your teacher to print off some past papers for you, it's a great way to learn. I do this for maths because I struggle a bit more in maths. Um, I'm in middle set, but it takes me a bit longer to understand what's happening. I get the mark schemes and I go through and mark it afterwards. Don't sit there with the mark scheme right next to you and just writing the answers because that's not going to benefit you. Have a go at it, then mark it and just keep doing those and any topics that you realise you're struggling at, make some flashcards, write down what you need to study. If you don't understand the mark scheme that goes along with the past paper, I recommend handing it to your teacher. I'm sure they won't mind marking it and just ask them to go through it basically. Give them the paper, give them the mark scheme and ask them to go through the paper and see how you're doing because it definitely helps. So my next tip is to use colours and bright colours to stimulate your brain and also to highlight key things. So I have my highlighters here. I actually lost the pink one and I'm a bit sad about it. I know a lot of people work from using bright colours and writing key topics and things in bright colours. It helps you to kind of stimulate and remember what that certain topic related to. So when you're then buy yourself a pack of felt tips and some highlighters and start highlighting all the key things you need to understand. Don't overly highlight and just start 
highlighting every single word in the book but just highlight key things that you know you will need to pick out and it just helps me it definitely helps me tip is to make an exam timetable you can do this like write it out in a notebook and put it up on your wall or do one online and print it out whatever suits you i know there is a website you can do this i'll put the website address on the screen because i can't quite remember it right now but i'll link it down below for you as well and i want to do this over the weekend just make yourself an exam timetable write down when you've got school activities or clubs or revision catch-ups and write down when you want to revise i would do this like monday to sunday because i know i definitely revise more on the weekends because that's when i have the most time because i'm not at school so if you're someone that likes to have their phone next to them whilst they're revising this isn't really a good idea to have your phone constantly near you because for me i can't see have notifications coming through like twitter notifications just turn your phone off like completely switched off or just give it to your parents go hide this wherever you want and just take it because it's a big distraction like having your phone next to you it's going to be a massive distraction you're not going to do anything um but i know i did say earlier that you should leave 30 minute breaks and it's probably easier to time on your phone so just turn your phone on to airplane mode it's down in the little pull up bar on iphones i'm not sure on any other devices but turn on airplane mode it'll just stop any notifications coming through and it will definitely help you because you and my last tip is to have a good night's sleep rest don't stay up till four o'clock in the morning revising your spanish or whatever you're revising it isn't going to help you're going to feel tired in the morning i've really enjoyed making this video and i hope you enjoyed it if you'd like me to do more like specific revision videos like revising for english or maths or science or something like that then let me know down below and let me and also comment down below any tips or tricks you have and share them with everyone else because i'm sure everyone would absolutely love that i know i would definitely love that because i need to start revising but I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all so much and I'll see you all super, super soon. Bye.